Imagine this for a moment. The world has been told again and again that diesel is dying, that its era is over, and that the future belongs only to electric cars. But what if one company has just thrown a massive curveball into that narrative? What if a new kind of diesel engine has arrived? Not dirty, not outdated, but cleaner, more powerful, and shockingly efficient. So advanced that it could actually challenge the electric revolution itself. That company is Tata Motors, and their new diesel technology has left the entire auto industry reeling, with many now asking, could this engine be the one that flips the script on EV dominance? This isn't just another story about engines and fuel. It's about the future of transportation, the clash between tradition and innovation, and the fight for survival in one of the world's most competitive industries. Today, we'll dive deep into Tata's bold new diesel engine, explore how it came to be, why it's being hailed as a potential game changer, and whether it can really stand up against the tidal wave of electric vehicles. Stick with me, because by the end, you may find yourself questioning everything you thought you knew about the so-called end of diesel. Now, let's roll back the clock and understand how we even got here. Tata Motors isn't just another automaker, it's practically woven into the DNA of India's transportation story. From rugged trucks rumbling across mountain passes to massive buses carrying millions of passengers daily, Tata has been the heartbeat of Indian roads for decades. But it all began in 1954, when Tata joined hands with Mercedes-Benz, at a time when India was just finding its industrial footing. This partnership gave India its first large-scale commercial vehicle production, a historic moment that laid the foundation for an empire. Over time, Tata absorbed the technology, built its own expertise, and in the 2000s, took the bold step of developing its own engine technology from scratch. Why was this so important? Because India's roads demand something unique. They aren't always smooth highways. Sometimes they're dusty, broken, and endless. Long distance hauls, extreme heat, heavy loads, all of these required engines that could take punishment day after day. And Tata understood something others often overlooked. India's transport economy runs on mileage, endurance, and cost-effectiveness. That's why diesel became king. For decades, Tata diesel engines powered everything from the humble Ace mini truck to colossal 400-horsepower freight haulers. In fact, over 70% of India's trucks and buses still run on Tata's diesel engines. To transporters, Tata wasn't just a brand, it was a lifeline. But then came the whispers. Diesel is dead. With global governments cracking down on emissions, with the rising hype around EVIS, and with customers looking for cleaner solutions, many believed diesel had no place in the future. That's when Tata dropped its bombshell. A new generation of diesel engines that aren't just about brute force, but about being clean, efficient, and surprisingly futuristic. The backbone of this transformation? A partnership called Tata Cummins. When Tata joined forces with the American powerhouse Cummins, the result was nothing short of revolutionary for India. Engines that could produce anywhere from 75 horsepower for small commercial vehicles all the way up to 400 horsepower for monster trucks. But more importantly, these engines weren't just strong, they were smart. They met Bharat Stage 6 standards, India's strictest emission regulations, on par with Europe's Euro 6. For decades, diesel was synonymous with black smoke, choking fumes, and clattering noise. But BS6 technology changed that. Through advanced systems like SCR, Selective Catalytic Reduction, and DPF, diesel particulate filters, Tata reduced toxic emissions by as much as 80%. Think about that. What was once the dirtiest fuel has been reborn into something almost unrecognizable. 
But here's where it gets even more interesting. Tata didn't stop at compliance. They went further. With technologies like AdBlue, a special fluid that neutralizes harmful nitrogen oxides and filters that trap microscopic particles, their engines now run cleaner without sacrificing performance. For the first time, drivers could enjoy both power and eco-friendliness. Long gone are the days when less smoke meant less strength. With BS6 engines, Tata proved you could have both. Still, the question lingers. Why invest so much in diesel when the entire world seems to be sprinting toward EVS and CNG? The answer lies in India's reality. Let's be honest, EVS are exciting, futuristic, and perfect for urban commuters. But what happens when you're a truck driver hauling 40 tons of cargo across a thousand kilometers? What happens when you're climbing steep Himalayan passes with no charging station in sight? The truth is, EVS aren't ready for that challenge. Not yet. Charging infrastructure is patchy, charging times are painfully long, and the batteries required for heavy trucks are still impractical. And what about CNG? Sure, it's cheap and clean and great for city taxis or short-haul deliveries. But again, the limitations are glaring. Limited fueling stations, smaller tanks, and weaker performance under heavy loads. In short, for light work, EVS and CNG may shine. But for the heavy lifting, the backbone of India's economy, nothing yet beats diesel. That's exactly why Tata is doubling down. Their BS6 Phase 2 engines, launched in 2023 and 2024, push efficiency even further, lowering maintenance costs and extending engine life. For years, diesel vehicles had a reputation for being expensive to maintain. Tata is crushing that myth with advanced engineering designed to keep trucks on the road longer, with fewer breakdowns. And beyond that, Tata is already experimenting with hybrid diesel systems, flex fuel options that can run on ethanol blends, and even hydrogen engines. They're not stuck in the past, they're building bridges to the future. Here's the fascinating part. In small vehicles like the Tata Ace and Intra, their diesel engines can now deliver up to 22 kilometers per liter. For small shopkeepers and transporters, that's massive savings. For big trucks, it's not about mileage alone. It's about power and reliability. Imagine hauling 50 tons over a thousand kilometers without fear of your engine giving up. That's the kind of confidence Tata Diesel delivers. And that's why Tata is refusing to abandon diesel, even while expanding into EVS and hydrogen. They know the Indian market better than anyone. They know that until charging networks spread across every village, until battery tech evolves, and until CNG infrastructure grows, diesel will remain the most practical solution. But let's not sugarcoat it. The world is moving away from fossil fuels. Europe, the US, and China are aggressively phasing out diesel. So where does that leave India? The reality is this. Diesel still powers nearly 70% of India's goods movement. From farmers transporting crops to factories shipping goods, diesel is the lifeline of the economy. If diesel engines vanished tomorrow, India's supply chains would grind to a halt. That's why Tata is striking a balance, investing in EVS and hydrogen for the future, while strengthening diesel for the present. And here's the million-dollar question. Can Tata's new diesel engine actually slow down the EV revolution? Or is it simply buying time until EVS inevitably dominate? The truth is somewhere in between. Diesel isn't dead. It's transforming. Cleaner, more efficient, and more advanced than ever before, it will continue to dominate long-haul transport for the next 15 to 20 years. But Tata knows that when EVS finally catch up, when charging stations dot every highway, diesel will fade into the background. That's why they're hedging their bets 
investing across all fronts. So, where does this leave us in one of the most exciting and uncertain times in automotive history? We're watching a tug of war between old and new, between the proven and the promising. Tata's bold diesel engine is proof that the story of diesel is far from over. But it also raises a deeper question. Are we underestimating how resilient traditional technology can be? While the world rushes toward electrification, Tata has reminded everyone that innovation doesn't always mean abandoning the past. It can also mean reinventing it. And that's the suspense that lingers. Will Tata's diesel once again rise as the king of the roads? Or will EVS eventually crush even this new generation of engines? For now, one thing is certain. Diesel has roared back into the fight, and Tata Motors has made sure the battle is far from finished.